Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Season 14 and in this video today we'll be looking at the new Season 14 new vehicles which consists of four new vehicles. We have two Earth Roamers like the one I've got with me now and we have a couple of tractors as well. Now this Earth Roamer looks pretty nice bit of kit. Let's just go over and stop it here and have a, a look around the beast and let's change that time as well and put that at 1300 brilliant that's a little bit better and you can see absolute fine looking beast so we have two of two of these romans 80 litre tank on it one's got switchable diff lock and the other one hasn't and the other one also ha one has autonomous winch and the other one has got a the big winches which is a little bit different on the screen there it'd be nice if that worked but all working mirrors now this is currently on the public test server so it is in test so we might find a few issues but i've had this out for like five ten minutes and it seems to go pretty well so let's go into the garage and I'll show you what's available. So here's the other one. We've got the Earth Roma SX and then the LTI version, which is a slightly smaller one. And then we have the Ancatra, Ancatra 1160 and then the Futom 7290R, 7290RA tractor. And they've also got, you can see, we've got the logging cranes on there. So we didn't want to do that. We wanted to go back in and have a look, see what customization. So we've got a few different engine options. Now using the smaller engine, they didn't seem to be having that much power whatsoever. So we will upgrade that. And we've also got SnowRunner, as it is, a scout, a huge scout at that. And then suspension wise, we have got a raised, which we can have bigger tires i think it goes up to the 47s now the the jack of all trade ones are the jats but they have got well the other one that had specific tires there they are for the roma itself with wheels so you've got the 43s and then we have the 48s like that we'll have some of them and then winch wise you can see we've got the stock skate, extended skate, advanced skate, autonomous, and then the high power skate, but that doesn't give us autonomous, it gives us extra power. And spare wheel, got that on the back there. Snorkel, a couple of different snorkel options, like that one. And then frame add-ons, we have a tuning radar. So now they're actually bringing radars built into the vehicle, which is a uh, pretty cool about th three years before everyone else did it but never mind light trailer hitch and also a heavy trailer hitch as well so you have got the option for the two different trailers which is always nice on a larger type of vehicle like this one and then we have a heavy duty pipe I'll have that one on there or, or and that was it we have side thresholds and rims Yep, that, nothing on there. And then we've got all the different colour combinations and then we've got a few multicolored there. Just like that, we'll have it in, in the white. And then bobbleheads, they're all on there, ready to go. We'll have that on there as well. So that's vehicle number one. And then Earth Roma. And then, hang on, let's go back into it. So yeah, this is one with the diff lock is always on and then they've both got switchable all wheel drive on them and go over to this one and you can see we've got switchable diff switchable all-wheel drive so this one the used the lower engine same again wasn't that great but that engine seems to go well the 6.2 you see there's oh i didn't realize that was the s rating there actually i just noticed they ran the other way perhaps we should be trying that one power to weight a bit more power and then gearbox wise, same on that, on the escaped gearboxes, which we've got the snow runner on there. I've got raised suspension, I've already added it. We can see it is quite a significant lift. It seems to be pretty stable with that. Lots of different tyre options available. 
ball for it and it's nice to see these new rims like them pretty nice and then moving on winch and you see we've got the stock heavy extended heavy advanced heavy and twin motor heavy so no autonomous or any escape winches on here and then we've got diff lock snorkel which oh they've just put one on one side oh i see the camera has not got it very great it's not showing us so we've got lower ones and then the higher snorkel just like that and frame add-ons now the solar panel i didn't know what that specifically does but obviously it puts solar panels on the roof whether it does anything and then we've got the tuning radar bit you can add that and then light trailer hitch heavy trailer hitch same as the other one so then moving over to fenders just got the side pipes the front bumper there as well earth roma and then it hasn't got any color choices on it yet hopefully that'll change so vehicle number one and two is really a copy of the one you can see when they come out of the garage they're pretty similar this one's just a little bit larger without switchable diff that one's permanent diff i think yeah and then going over to the tratters we have the futon which is the big bad boy and then we have the Ancatra 1160 so engine wise i find the engines to be extremely weak hopefully that i get tweaked the next size engine seemed to do a little bit better on it and gearbox wise we've got a special fine tune advanced special suspension no suspension because there's a track there and then tire choices quite a few different tire choices and those are the rims for it as well which we have got twin rims should give us extra traction and then winch wise we've got as it's a off-road truck so we've got your extended medium advance and high power on there switchable diff and then the frame add-ons you've got the front, front counterweight you've got the coupler for the farming implements and then the log crane and a heavy trailer hitch on there as well and you can have that with the crane which makes sense as sometimes we don't get st stuff like that not the first time anyway anyway rims wise you can't change them and then we've got the color choices there that's the one that comes with it and then all of them available and then all your accessories with the bobble arms bobble arms bobble heads and what have you just on there and then going over to the the futon now this one same again that engine was pretty bad this one seems to be all right so hopefully that'll get tweaked it could even be the gearbox i was using the advanced special and the special haven't used a fine tune one yet and then no no suspension as it's tractor and then tire choices we've got those available which is own bespoke ones for the futon the twins the trouble is with those twins it makes it bloody wide it really does but if it gives you extra traction, brilliant. The steering seems to go pretty well on that one as well. We'll leave those on there, just like that. And then uh, winch-wise, as is heavy, we've just got all your normal winches, twin, advance, and extended. And then diff lock. And the same thing, we've got counterweights with the long crane. But this one doesn't seem to have the farming implement. Oh, it is. It's there. It's not selected then. So if you don't put that on, it disappears uh, nice to see the front weights on there obviously we might need them and then rims no change on them and then all the different color choices you want and then multi colors just down the bottom and then all your accessories and what have you just like that so that is the four upcoming vehicles so first off i think we're just going now a cruise with the earth roamer and so that one i have upgraded which you do need it so i have a bit of all-wheel drive and yeah you can see it's got plenty of power the body roll on it seems to be pretty good actually pretty realistic and it has a decent turning radius 
as it is quite long but you can see we whoa we're going a little bit quick whoa 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 yes okay so yeah it's quite stable unless you drive like myself all right so we jumped into the lti version now this has got the lift kit as well and this this is the one with autonomous yes yeah, the oh, i can't bloody remember oh, well that one hasn't got autonomous but did i select it mm, we shall see hopefully we should be able to just winch straight on the back of this and drag it out Hopefully, no, it's not having it. Try and snap it over. Probably wants me to put it in the right winch point. No, it's not having it. Okay. All right, so what winch points have we got for this one? Um, let's just try it on the side. Yeah, that should just flip it over, surely. Surely it should. Come on. There we go. There we go. Right. Okay. Stop engine. Yeah, so this one hasn't got autonomous, and I don't think I selected it on the other vehicle, did I? When it was in the shop garage. But going inside, they look pretty cool. Everything's here. And they drive really well so the radar comes out on the top of the roof there let me just show you that um, which one is it I wonder hopefully it's that one no that's the bobblehead radar right let's show you on this one I think it's conflicting there it is with the bobblehead radar area has been scanned Just like that. Right, close that. Let's head up this way. And see how we get on. But no, so far, first first look, first drive of the Rovers, they seem to go pretty well. It's a shame they haven't got a lot more repair points and stuff with them, as you'd expect. But um, oh, maybe that will be added at a later date. We shall see. But so far on this map, there's not much mud and whatever. You, there's just lots of... Whoa! Well, what I've come across. Lots of um, paved roads. But that looks like we can go off-road. Oh. Oh, dear. Wish that suspension was a little bit softer. I always have it quite hard. But you can see it getting the job done. Should be quite fun using these actually. And we're not going to go over in that water because that is probably deep. Yeah, it is a little bit. Oh. Yeah, we won't go across there. Right, let's go and jump in the tractor. So here we have the small little tractor, the Angtara. Tatra? I don't bloody know. So, in the, not independent suspension. Actually, it's all on those swivel points, isn't it? But this seemed to go all right. Well, we will swing a left, oh, and head up over this way and see how we get on. Because there was a track going out of the back of the garage. Hopefully we won't get stuck on a tree or something stupid. I can't see where I'm going. 
Whoa. Now that is just in order. Let's put a bit of diff lock on and see how we get on. But it does seem to need a little bit more power. As this is the top engine now let's have a look inside this bad boy lots of uh, visibility pretty cool but yeah I wasn't really impressed to see the farm inside of things coming back but it is what it is at least they brought the logging side to uh, these tr two tractors makes it a lot more useful as there's a lot of people like doing the logging I'm not too keen on logging myself it gets a bit tedious after a while but that's me but this one seems to go okay we'll have to put it through its paces with a bit of logging in the future but I have trouble doing a bit of steering there it seems to have that every now and again But at least it's nice to see a little tractor because when we were using the big tractors on the um, season, whatever it bloody was, I can't remember now, they were a bit large, so this might be a bit more usable. If only it had a bit more power. Right out, let's get on and have a look at the last tractor. Okay, so here we have the Food Tom 7290RA tractor. So this one, let's start up. This one does go pretty well, pretty good. Well, with this engine, the basic engine, it has got a decent turning radius where we found some of the other tractors before were pretty bad for turning. Now, let me go and show you what trailers we've also got we've got a multi plower run uh where has it gone there we have the food dot futon s logging trailer and the medium logging trailer as well which have been added so that's pretty cool i know a lot of people wanted that short logging trailer i don't think we'll take that now but let's just go and have a little drive of this one. Like there isn't much off-road where we are at the moment. But you can get a feel for, I'll tell you what, let's change that time. Get a feel for the steering on it, where if we go hard left here, yeah, that performed pretty well. Sometimes it was going a bit all over the place but there you go we'll put this for its paces no doubt with a couple of the missions to come but it's bloody wide and it seems to handle okay Oh, just clip that. But as soon as I put it, well, let's put all your drive on. As soon as I put it into anything semi off road, I think it is the front end like digging in. Well, it's not there, is it? Go to a bit of diff lock, and that seems to help. But it is in testing anyhow, so hopefully this will be tweaked. So it has a little bit more power. Now there's quite a few other things going on with season 14. I haven't dived into it as soon as I have. I'll do you a catch up video and we'll show you what else is going on with the new cargoes. And get on playing the game a little bit, I haven't really played much on SnowRunner, I've got a little bit bored over it lately, but um, 
we get back into it again. Righto, thanks for watching. Appreciate you smashing the lights, and I'll see you on the next episode.